Hi, my name's Sam and I'm an author. I'm here to read you a story today about the Tooth Fairy. But before I begin, I'd like to let you in on a little secret. I'm sat in the very place that all coins are struck and supplied to the Tooth Fairy, the Royal Mint. And they've invited me in to read you this story today. It's called The Tooth Fairy and the Home of the Coin Makers. It's about twins, Ollie and Grace, and their coin collecting grandpa, and the adventures they have, learning all about what happens when you put your tooth under your pillow. I really hope you enjoy it. When Ollie and Grace were at home eating lunch, their mum heard a sound as they both tried to crunch. As time came for pudding, they started to squabble, but suddenly both felt a tooth start to wobble. Their groans turned to grins as they thought of a way to get both teeth out by the end of the day. So that afternoon, they tried bouncing about, and with a great pop, the two teeth shot straight out. They stayed at their grandpa's house every weekend. He wasn't just grandpa, he was their best friend. As soon as they saw him, they leapt on his lap, each beaming with pride, now their smiles have a gap. Their old grandpa grinned. What a wonderful sight. If the tooth fairy's working, she'll be here tonight. With a spring in her step and her green twinkling eyes, the chief and her tooth fairies light up the skies. Working hard through the night, all these fairies are tough. No delicate dolls, they are made of strong stuff. They'll come in the night when you're both fast asleep, exchanging your teeth for new coins you can keep. He fashioned two pouches from fabric and string for their teeth and the coins that the fairy would bring. With pouch and a pillow, the twins closed their eyes, trying so hard to sleep for their special surprise. The very next morning, the two sleepyheads both jumped so excitedly out of their beds, and under their pillows they peeked bleary-eyed to find that their pouches had gold coins inside. In Grandpa's collection room, Ollie and Grace examined the rare coins he kept in his case. He gave them a pile as they grinned at each other. That's lots of teeth, Grandpa, Grace laughed with her brother. The Royal Mint makes all our coins, he explained. A magical place where the fairies are trained. At Buckingham Palace, asked Grace sitting still. Not quite, at the Tower of London, until... The job for the soldiers was getting too hard. With so many coins, they would need a new guard. The mint was moved west to the valleys of Wales, the home of a dragon with scarlet red scales. But one day you'll both get to see for yourselves, grinned Grandpa, replacing his coins on the shelves. Not really, said Ollie, his face full of doubt. Oh yes, Grandpa winked, you've lots more to find out. The next week, the twins tried some tricks that they knew to lose one more tooth. Then came coin number two. They rushed to see Grandpa in the hope they'd be told more tales of the fairies, the dragon and gold. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope that you remember it every time the Tooth Fairy leaves a special coin under your pillow. <laughs>